If you have never changed a diaper before or you're still anxious to do it because you're, you don't know if you're doing the right thing or not, then make sure to stick around to the end of this video because today I'm going to show you exactly the steps and tips and how to change your baby's diaper quickly and properly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm with our friend, Mimi, and she's going to help me show you guys how to properly and quickly change your baby's diaper. So either you're using a cloth diaper or a disposable one, the concept's still the same. First, gather all the materials that you need and put it where you change your baby's diaper. Reachable enough so you won't waste your time going around searching for the items that you need. What I have here is this nappy basket where I put all the items necessary. So I won't be going around looking for stuff. I just grab this and bring it with me whether in our room or living room where I change my baby's nappy. So you, what, what you can see here are these. The cotton balls, cotton tip applicator, wet wipes, alcohol, diaper, kidney basin, this one, trash bag, here, the trash bag, and this diaper changing pad. Now this kidney basin is where I place wet cotton balls and wet wipes that I'm going to use to each diaper change. So I already pulled um, pieces of wet wipes and these are wet cotton balls. Many parents use the changing table or changing pad. Um, whatever your pick is, um, just make sure that it's safe, clean, and flat surface. So next, put your baby on his back, hit on his or her back, and then remember to inform him or her on what you're going to do. Then open the soil diaper to check if there are any unusualities with the urine output, the color, and consistency of your baby's poop. And take note that baby's poop is different and they're breastfed and formula fed. Um, after checking um, with your non-dominant hand, hold your baby's legs and gently tilt up his or her bottom just enough for you to insert the folded soil diaper with a clean side up. So you always remember to fold it clean side up. So this, this area here is the clean side. So um, fold it with this side up. Then once it's inserted, you now begin to wipe the diaper region. So this is our diaper region. And um, when you wipe, remember that wiping a baby boy is different from a baby girl. So when you wipe a baby girl, um, always use the cleanest to dirtiest and front to back technique. So this is how you do it. So this is the cleanest area and this is our dirtiest area um, so we must clean uh, wipe it um, starting from the center then front to back like this front to back and then other parents or mothers um, they um, throw the used cotton balls um, directly here in the soil diaper but um, for me, um, I'd rather choose to throw it directly in the um, waste receptacle. Um, that, so, throw, and then um, the groin part, front to back, then throw, front to back, this side here. Okay, and then um, if there's still, uh, it depends on you and how many cotton balls um, you're going to use, but say, 
um, three cotton balls, then that's how you do it. Okay, wiping from front to back um, is not negotiable even to us female adults because um, that little opening there, which is called the urethra, where the urine passes, um, is very close to our genital and the rectum. Rectum is the dirtiest area in that region. So what we're trying to avoid here is to bring the microorganisms from the rectum towards the urethra that might cause problem in the future like urinary tract, tract infection, or commonly called as UTI. Wiping a baby boy is different. Um, when wiping a baby boy, um, wipe from the tip down to the bottom and then wipe the side and then down to the to the um, um, just to re reiterate um, always clean from the cleanest to the dirtiest and for the girls always wipe from front to back okay and this is the time where um, you will lift or slightly tilt the bottom and then roll the diaper roll the diaper and then close and then throw it in the waist receptacle now before you put on a new diaper either a cloth diaper or disposable diaper um, at least allow 30 seconds or a minute to air dry the bottom area or the diaper region of your baby and then after that you insert the diaper slightly tilt the baby bottom and then insert the diaper and then gently put it on and then close there and don't forget to compliment your baby okay um but i personally don't end there oh uh, before i close the diaper, every diaper change. Yes, you heard it right. Every diaper change. Um, I put a small amount of this natural nappy cream or a barrier cream. Um, and my personal favorite is this Human Nature. Look, um, I don't know if you can see it clearly. Yeah. Um, no, this is not a treatment for diaper rash. Um, this is a barrier cream, a topical formulation that will serve as a barrier um, from contaminants um, like the peas and the poop um, so that it won't go directly into your baby's skin. So that's it. Um, I think one of the reasons why until Karan Garage Sikara, aside of course from changing diaper at least every two to three hours, is this. Um, this is very nice. I really recommend so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon beside the subscribe button so you won't miss my next video which is about teething remedy. Um, once again, this is Mala. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you around. Bye!